You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez, you don't even trust me. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Listen, I think Finn is a bad influence on you. You're just jealous. Yeah, hell no. Why do you say that? Because you always show up whenever we hang out. You hate him. Knock it off. I... I do like Finn. I mean, never mind. That's it. Enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Daniel, no fucking way. Jeez, <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha, you better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go Sleep tight. 
Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and black flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. He saw that train from afar and went mm. straight at it. Mm. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get black flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Man, I miss Mushroom. That was our rescue dog. She didn't make it with us. Oh, sweetie. Jeez, sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory, fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Let's stop the violin. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Mm. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Move swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. You seem to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. He said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Jesus Christ. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. Mm. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? <laughs> Find the truth for myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. Family ties are a mess. Trust me. I know how that feels to be rejected. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But 
If you have something else. <laughs> Whoa, no. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And there's our dog, Mushroom, who was killed by a puma. So we had to bury her. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. I know he's not my friend anymore because I lied to him. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man, that's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. <sighs> Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Here's in. <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes, he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? No, man. Uh, I'm gonna hang for a bit. Do you want me to walk back alone? Oh. So now you're a kid again? Have no fear. Finn is here. I'll walk you, little man. Sleep tight, Daniel. <laughs> Sweet dreams, sweetie. Now, you belong to us, Diaz. So, let's do something about that shaggy hair. Yeah, let's not. I like my shag. Sean, maybe you haven't noticed, but we have standards here. Fine. Whatever. Cut me up. Atta boy. That's what I like to hear.
<laughs> I don't want to end up with a mullet. Or worse. Tell that to your stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Um, that means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hero Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, step right up. Uh, hey, hey, no stress. You're talking to a pro. Just relax and enjoy the buzz. Now, let's see. Hey, hands off now. Whoa, 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 down, Finn. Watch hey, out. What are you doing? Stop. I said don't worry, Cassidy. Stop <laughs> fooling around. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Staying fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. I we don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm, <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's gone. Almost done. Voila. What's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> nice. Okay, can I see now? Damn, is that me? So different. It's cool. I like it. Thanks, Finn. My pleasure. Really. Careful, Sean. People are going to think you're one of us. <laughs> don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here, you deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kind of trashed. Plus, I might be hosting tonight. Uh, Finn? I don't know. Maybe. Well, just in case. Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean won't be able to sleep either. Nah, I sleep like a lot. So, how come you two don't, um, share a tent? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. Yeah, uh... Hans and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh, oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you want to fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. We make our own rules. You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? Nah, it just feels... different. I'm new to all this. I don't get half the shit you guys talk about. I don't know shit about the world, so... I don't know. Legit, dude. It took us time, too, you know? Like... I didn't change my views on politics, life, or sexuality in a blink. It takes a whole fucking reconstruction. Right. Does it mean you're into guys and all? Uh, that depends on the position. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. Take a number, Sean. So, what about you? I'm just more into girls. Like Jen. Back in Seattle. She was so hot, man. Uh, so long. Oh, shit. You had a Jen? Oh, there goes my chance. Sorry, bro. But you never stood a chance. Oh, s stop ruining everything. Okay, lovebirds. That's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. Plus, it's payday. Fuck. I could talk all night, but yeah. Don't want Daniel to start whining. Gracias por todo. See you, my dudes. You gonna swing by, Finn? Of course, sweetie. I'm always swinging. Cool. Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow.
Sean, move it now. What? Fuck me. No. Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You got to treat yourself after all this hard work. <sighs> Seriously. We have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me. They will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. 
But we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes. And don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay. We'll be right back. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. You should be pulling more for your weight. You know what I mean? Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Shh. I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's Bullshit, man! Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <laughs> Ow! What? <clears throat> okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, Big Joe. My friend. Whoa. That's it. Believe it or not. Told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. Wear careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man. So, Sean. Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. 